Hello everyone, it's me, Sharon of Creative Glam and Crafts. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit that notification bell twice so that you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'd appreciate it if you left me a comment and I'd also like it if you gave me a big thumbs up. Today I'm going to show you how I created this card using the Simon Says Lotus Frame. It die cuts out a very beautiful and detailed and delicate frame. This frame is about two and a quarter by three and a quarter. Now the first thing I'm going to do is create a background for this lotus frame and I'm going to be using my Tim Holtz Distressed Oxide. I'm going to be using Salty Ocean, Lucky Clover, and I might add in a little bit of Twisted Citra. And I'm going to be using my life-changing brushes uh, from Picket Fences to do that, to add some um, oxide ink to my panel. I'm going to use my Simon Says Stamp Stencil to make clouds at the top. And I'm going to use my My Favorite Things stencil to make grass at the bottom. So I'm going to start with the grass. I've cut all my items out using my Sizzix Big Shot Machine. Now I'm going to take the Lotus Flower Frame out of the die. And you have to be careful because it is... Oh, okay. That came out relatively easy. Surprisingly. So... Now I did that three times because I'm going to stack them to give it a more 3D effect. And I'll glue those together. And then I also cut out the stitched rectangle dies from Elizabeth Craft Design. So there's my frame and there's my mat. I also did the sentiment banner from Lawn Fawn. I've also seen this method done using the um, adhesive backing and die cutting it out with the backing on it. And I have not tried it that way, but it sure makes a lot of sense to me. And um, next time I will try it that way. I think it will be easier for me. This works too, just a little patience. So now I can put this card together. I've got, got my, my card base, which is four and a half by five and a half. And as you saw earlier, I had already cut the frame. So I'm gonna adhere that. This is my um, Tombow uh, permanent adhesive. So I put some foam squares on the back of my panel and I am going to raise it up on the card inside the frame. I'm 
Oh, I like that. I like it a lot. Now, this, as I said before, the next time I do this, I will, in fact, uh, when I cut these out, I'll put some um, adhesive tape on the back of the paper. So then all I have to do is just peel it off. It's a lot easier than going through all of this. And so then I will take my image What do you think? Should I do this for my sentiment? I kind of like that. I'm going to use my Versamark ink and I am going to emboss my sentiment. already added some foam squares to the bottom the uh, frame of my center. I love the way the panel came out. I think that is so pretty. I love blue and green. a red rubber stamp that says hand me by but I can't use it yet until after my nouveau drops dry so I'm going to hold off on that but other than that that's it guys we're all done I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did I'd appreciate it if you leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up Make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit that notification bell twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And with that being said, you have a blessed day and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam and Crafts. Bye!